Things are moving fast on Love Island USA, as another new pair of bombshells, Bryce Finns and Jeff Christian Jr. have arrived to stir things up, and it's time to share information about both of them. Sadly, Love Island fans had to say goodbye to another Islander during episode 9, when Tyler Radzisuski was dumped from the villa. Tyler only arrived on Love Island a few episodes ago and was the reason Valerie Bragg was eliminated as he chose Serenity Springs over her. When siblings Bria and Chaz Bryant arrived, Bria felt Serenity was a perfect fit for her brother and Chaz thought that Timmy Pandolfi was just the guy for Bria. Unfortunately, this meant that Tyler and Zeta Morrison were single and Islanders had to decide who got to stay and who had to leave. Since Zeta had been partnered with Timmy since episode 1 and had made a close connection with him, the contestants decided to save her and send Tyler packing. As of now, Timmy and Zeta are not on the best of terms as the male islander gets to know Bria a little better. On the other hand, Serenity, who was initially heartbroken to see Tyler go, seems to be getting along great with Chaz. Bria's younger brother is giving Serenity the attention that she wasn't getting from Tyler. Near the end of episode 9, Bryce and Jeff made their arrival, and the male Love Island contestants were not excited to meet their new competition. Bryce described himself as an Italian stallion and wasn't afraid to let viewers know that he won't be following bro code. Isaiah Campbell might not take the news so well, as Hess already confronted Andy Voyan for breaking bro code and kissing his partner, Sidney Pate. Jeff also had quite the entrance, claiming that the men on the island should be intimidated by his arrival. However, there's a lot more to learn about the new islanders that hasn't been revealed on the show yet. Bryce Finn's Bryce has almost 10 years more experience than Isaiah and Chaz, as the 29-year-old ties Zeta and Timmy as the second oldest contestant in the villa. For some of the younger Love Island contestants, the California native may come across as a threat. An island guy himself, Bryce hails from Channel Islands, California, but, like most reality stars, he now resides in Los Angeles. However, the contestant is not currently looking for a career in the spotlight and instead makes a living as a financial manager. He may be eight years older than Chaz, but the two have more in common than one would think, as they're attracted to feet. If that scares any female contestants away, he could win them back with an in-depth conversation on what he calls his favorite chick flick, The Notebook. It also might interest Love Island female contestants that the workout enthusiast is very innovative with his sexuality. The Islander wants to create his own Kama Sutra, an ancient Indian text on sexuality and eroticism. Perhaps Bryce can't put an Italian stallion twist on the text for a new audience. Jeff Christian Jr. Jeff offered quite a list of fun facts, and it's hard for Christian to compete with the Italian stallion's reinvented Kama Sutra. However, the Cincinnati native still has some unique quirks of his own, one of which is that he doesn't have a belly button. However, to make up for the missing feature, Jeff has a total of 40 tattoos and plans on getting even more to cover his legs. The athlete played college football at both Ohio U and Southern U and learned his athletic skills from an impressive influence. The 25-year-old Love Island contestant's grandfather trained two of the most famous boxers of all time, Muhammad Ali and Aaron Pryor. That's bound to intimidate some of the Islanders. Jeff will certainly be on the lookout for a girl like his celebrity crush, Georgia Smith, and while Christian may be winning some women over with his The Notebook knowledge, Jeff and his partner will have a good laugh quoting his favorite film and Tina Fey classic, Mean Girls. It's going to be interesting to see how these two adjust to the Love Island villa. Love Island USA streams Tuesdays through Sundays at 9 p.m. EDT on Peacock.